So the uh, farm scene is starting to come along. Um, I've got some wolves there off of eBay uh, from a seller called CEG.model.railway. If you put that into search box, you'll uh, find him. He does all different walls and stuff. They're really good. So they go off into the background. Uh, I've sort of done a basic setup of where I think I'm going to put things. And so the next job will be starting to putting in the grout to start making the ground and everything else and the, you know the muddy ground and everything else and all that so when I get started on that I will come back and show you those I've still got to put all the sides on the big farm barn uh, I'm just trying to see where I've put them now I'll put them down somewhere so I'm not sure where I had them a minute ago but yeah I've done all rusty sides for that just bought some pigs and sheep so the pigs are for the little pig sty in the corner there and the sheep are going to be in the fields at the front here so it's going to look all right anyway i'll leave it there and i'll come back when i've done a bit more so i used the tile grout using um, a paint cap and a bit of stocking, shaking it across to get it how I wanted it. Run the vehicles through to create the tracks. And then I just use my spray bottle of isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol. And wet it with that. Now last time I used PVA as well, I'm going to try without PVA and it's coming up with a really great effect. It's coming up, look, it's cracking, so it looks like cracked mud. So when I actually start to do some painting on there, it's going to look really, really good. So I do like that effect. It's going to look really cool. But that's where we're at at the moment. I've just got to finish this off and... And I can start doing some painting once it's all dry. Right, so I put the PVA glue all over it because it wasn't setting and it's all dried now, as you can see. Uh, you can see the effects that we've got, all the tracks and things. So now I'm going to be doing the paint. And what I've got is this, which is that one. That I had made up, which was Country Boots, it was called. Now, when I had the card, it was more like this colour. But when you paint it, it was more like this, this pale. So what I did was added more brown paint, acrylic paint, to it. And now I've got a decent dark colour. It needs mixing before I start painting. <clears throat> so I'm going to give it that coat over, which will give it this nice colour. And... Um, and we can start adding some details to the tracks and things and start making it look like a real farm area. Right, so painted it all. Just waiting for it to all dry. As you can see, it's a bit shiny and patchy where it's drying at different rates. But once it's uh, dried, we can start doing some work on all the tracks and some some of the details of I'm going to work on the track bit first so we're doing do this bit and then start working on this back section we'll leave this front section to foot to, to last I've still got to finish this edge here and get off round here this side of, for what's going to be going there and um, this is all going to be part of the scrap yard this whole front area so there's a lot of work to be done uh, it's coming on quite nicely so I'll bring you back when we're ready to start this when it's all dry all right so I thought I'd just show you how I'm starting off so as you can see I've picked out a lot of the areas around the tracks with um, the darker mud and that is earth color by MIG and then I'm mixing up a wash which you can see 
I've started to put there which looks quite good actually um, which is another MIG wash which is Trax wash but I've watered it down with Humbro enamel thinners to make a more of a liquid wash like that and what I like about it is if you look at that you can see it picks, picks out all the cracks and details so and it blends this darker in with the lighter quite nicely so literally just putting it on like this quite liberally that's why I've watered it down But that's all I'm doing like that and then when this is all dried I should take some of this see how you can if you put too much in a dip you just put the paintbrush back in and it will take some off but then when this is all dried off I will be using some weathering powders to dry brush over the tops just to pick out the top edges of the ruts and things like that so it will start to uh, blend in even better then so it goes from looking like that to looking more like that it's hard sorry it's hard to get the camera in but as you can see it's looking pretty good in my opinion so that's where we're at so far so I've got to wash, do the washes on all of that yet and we'll come back when we're on the next stage right so as you can see I've started to draw out the track plan for this area for where the tracks are going to be I have some tunnels which are going to disappear off so it some of the tracks won't be connected to the main track going through there because they're just going to be for storage of old locos and that for the scrap yard so i don't need them powered i don't need anything um but so i've just drawn out my plan there will be uh this one coming in from two points i'll have one two three four sidings there that are powered and i'll have four sidings that aren't powered as well so i actually put in a point here because I forgot there's another track coming here so I think I thought oh there's a big gap here but there isn't because there's another track so I'm not going to be putting that point in so as you can see I've started uh I've done up some arches which these are recycled from the old layout along the back section uh taking them off so they were stuck on the back scene and reuse those made another bit there I've got another wall to do along the front edge and as you can see the tracks are taking shape now I'm gonna show you how I am getting this so just try to zoom in a little bit so as you can see I've got like a muddy track coming up and we've got the tracks beforehand which look good <coughs> but what we need to do is I'm using this which is actually makeup set and I was given and as you can see there's a lot of colors a lot of really good colors from model railway and this set is this one I got given this luckily by my partner who doesn't want any of these colors so going to be using this one the nut but there's so many good colors in there that you can use for weathering and then I just use a brush like this and I'll show you I'll try and set the camera up and show you how we do well, I'm hoping you can see that or okay so all I'm doing is getting some of the powders And picking out the high raised details bear in mind I'm going to be putting more stuff on the tracks I'm going to be putting grasses and things as well so 
but all this does is start to pick out all the details and it actually looks a lot lighter in real life than on the camera so I don't know why it's coming out so light on the camera so this is sort of giving the effect of dry mud rather than wet mud I mean if you wanted wet mud maybe leave it like this and put some water in the track lines for puddles that sort of thing and if I do a bit over the cracks there it tends to pick out the cracks and all that sort of thing and this is all all you've got to do Don't go overboard, you know, don't do it on every single edge because you need some of the other colours to show through as well. But it also starts to help pick out the tracks better gives you a little bit but where we've used the grout for the base it's got some really lovely uh, edging what I did though is I sort of did something that messed up but it's actually given a better result so obviously you, you saw when I put the grout down and I said all I'm doing is putting the isopropyl alcohol well that started to make cracks in it but what I did need to do was once that had dried, it was still a bit powdery and not set. So I then wet it with the propel again and then put the liquid glue on, which didn't soak in as well, but it set the top hard. So at that point I used, after it had been sat for a while, I used paper towels to dab off all of the excess glue and it set perfectly. So that process of doing it just with the isopropyl first actually created cracks in it that look better so i've just taken it off the tripod i don't know why it's showing up as so light on the pictures on the camera because it's not as light as it looks it actually looks lighter um it looks less light to the naked eye um, but what I'm talking about with the cracks if I can get in there look you've got some beautiful cracking that's come up it really does look like cracked old dry mud and it's looking good I'm quite I'm really happy with it I mean I could have left it just like that which looks good as well but I do prefer it with a bit of the shadowing plus I'm going to be putting more on there anyway so you won't see all of this color yet anyway um, because obviously as you know you always get grass in between tracks and then I've got the edges to do as well so a lot to do in this area still but it's definitely moving forwards and what I'll do is I'll do a picture at the end and use that as the main shot for the video and hopefully you'll be able to see uh, that this isn't in the photos as light as it looks on the on the camera I don't know why it's coming out so light on the film because it really isn't even the palette there looks a lot lighter I don't know if I can change the color on the video Right, so for the next bit, as you can see, I've already started. Um, I'm just putting some two mil grass. I've done, I thought I'd show you how I'm doing it. So little ridges there, I'm leaving the back section for some longer grasses and literally just putting that on. I 
and then we need to wait need to wait for a while let that dry hoover it up and then I can start putting on the next sections of layers of grass uh, around the edges so it's certainly uh, coming on and obviously it looks a bit awful at the moment with it everywhere but I think you'll get the idea of how it's going to look once it's dried once I've cleaned up a bit well as you can see this is how it's looking and um, I've done all the grass started to add some bushes and things along there I've done all the deep taller grasses at the edge I'll try and get a view from down the other way in a second but what I did earlier on I went out I was out having a drive and when I did went down like a country lane not quite as much mud, a muddy track like this one but one thing I noticed was cowslip everywhere like tons and tons of it at one point it was just wall-to-wall -wall cowslip so I thought to myself well that's something I need to be adding and so I've made myself some flock material in a white, a yellow, sort of paley off white, which is perfect colour for it because it's got a bit of a yellow tinge to it. Oh, and I've just dropped one I was going to show you. So, what I've got is some pieces of sea foam. Just dip them in the glue, dip them in the foam. And they make great little cowslip plants. The other thing I also made while I was doing it, I made um sorry, it's not focusing. A taller one. So that could be a nice little like fruit blossom fruit tree, blossom tree in someone's garden. That's gonna be really nice. And again, another little one as well. I thought they were gonna be quite good use somewhere else on the layout but really simple to make uses up all those odd bits of sea foam that let's face it we all if you buy sea foam box you want to make the trees with you always end up with tons of extra stuff so just going to spin round the top and have a look from up here so you can have a better look along the track and you can see so it how the tracks work I think they're pretty impressive better light from this angle so and obviously I've got the tracks coming into the farm area you can see the outlays of where I placed the farm buildings in the powder before I set it that way I they're all going to sit perfectly in the powder. Even got some notches there where the farm barn posts are. It's actually going to sit really nicely. But I'm quite happy with this so far. I've still got a lot more to put on. I'm literally going to go to town with the cow slip along this end of the road. Literally, it's going to just have loads of it and just maybe a little bit less like along that side. But I want it to look like a proper little country lane bit rough and overgrown because it's the farmer can't be bothered to come out and work this he's too busy looking after his livestock and stuff like that so anyway i hope you uh like the video i think it's uh coming out really well and i'll just pop back when i've done a the last bit of work along this area to show you the finished you know article so to speak but it's i think it's coming on really nicely right so just a quick finish off video here to show you the uh what i've done so far I may, i've got a lot of uh other scenery to add in the area yet so it's a lot more to do but i'm happy with how it's come out so far so I've got a bit of loose grass here where I've been just grassing up this hillside over here while I was waiting for some bits to dry 
which I need to hoover up. Yeah, you can see the muddy track coming into the field, heavily travelled, have a nice little gate across there. And uh, these white things that I called yesterday, I called, I don't really say yesterday, but it, previously in the video, uh, I called them cowslip, I meant to say cow parsley, so... I know they're not cowslip, but yeah, so I'm quite happy with the tracks. I think it looks uh, pretty good so far. And going off into the distance, I'll have some trees here and here to cut, sort of cover that, so there'll be some overhanging trees that will cover the view of it disappearing. That way I get away with it going off the baseboard. So, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So, there's a lot of detail being put in. Lots of uh, bushes and things like that. Sorry, the focus keeps going on it. It is very hard to get in to get some of these details. I mean, just the effects of that ground I think look amazing going to do the job nicely sort of came out exactly how I sort of hoped it would and I'm I'm happy with it so obviously the next job is going to be doing the rest of the farm areas there's quite a few different bits to do on that so and still a lot more details to buy to put in as well but anyway I hope you enjoyed watching this uh, I'm just going to put a few still shots in at the end for you to have a look at and thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon